between capturing light in a lens, preserving sound in an album, surfing the ocean, and designing for radio frequencies, my life is shaped by waves. Hey guys, my name is Jeff, and today I'm gonna talk about why I became an engineer. I wanted a career that would help me explore the world around me and build my own path, which is why I chose engineering, specifically electrical engineering. Being an engineer means I can figure almost anything out, whether it's my van or a snowboarding setup or a new hobby like film photography. I can do anything. I was very mechanically minded in high school, and before that, I worked a lot with my hands, but when it was time to decide on a major, before getting to Cal Poly, electrical engineering appealed to me because I didn't understand electricity. I didn't understand signals and how Wi-Fi worked. If I could learn how electricity worked, then I could learn how anything worked. And now that I am an electrical engineer and I design radio frequency circuits for a living, I love it. It is this wizardry that nobody else understands. Electrical engineers are scarce. It's not an easy major. A lot of that has to do with how conceptual it can be. It made me realize I get to do whatever I want. I could be a mad scientist. I could be a race car driver in my free time. As an engineer, the world is my oyster. Engineering is hard. All engineering is hard. Something I learned is confronting the uncomfortable is a practice. And when you can get good at doing things that are hard and not giving up, you can achieve a lot in this world. Something else that I've learned from working on cars is how to ride that wave of difficulty. And it is a slog for a moment. If you can repeatedly show up, eventually the results will start speaking for themselves. I don't even think you necessarily need an engineering major to engage in this practice of drilling down to the facts and understanding what's going on around you. Engaging in engineering can be as simple as writing something down that you're doing. If you're recording results and measuring progress, you're quickly on your way to engineering a solution. I started my job when I was 23. I'm 25 now, I've done it for two years. So you can trust me when I say that I know a thing or two about being a young electrical engineer. If you'd like to be an engineer or you're thinking about it, let me know in the comments. I wanna make a video called How to Be an Engineer. And this is just the beginning. Next, I wanna show you some moto adventures, some budget van life videos, and some more commentary as I commute to my job as an electrical engineer about electrical engineering. So stay tuned. I'll be talking to you about the things that I've learned as an electrical engineer. Oh, that was fun. Now it's time to go to work.